stink bugs aren't going anywhere. So basically the bug is here to stay. With the weather warming up, the bugs are on the move. They want to go outside and feed and mate and lay eggs on the foliage. And so you'll start to see more activity now and uh, they'll start to become more active as the temperature warms. And scientists want you to tell them exactly where those eggs are. Because we're trying to get an understanding of how widespread the parasitoid is, the little parasite. This is what they look like, a cluster of 28 eggs that are pale green or white and a millimeter in size. If they turn black, the parasite is in them. So it's a tiny uh, insect that lays its eggs in the eggs of stink bugs. So it, it's like invasion of the body snatchers. It, it um, kills the stink bug embryo and um, emerges as a, as a new parasite. And so that kills some of the stink bugs, but it's, it's, it's suppressing the population supposedly, but it doesn't seem to be taking, uh, taking the population down to levels that we would like to see yet. The ministry is not interested in hearing about reports of stink bugs in areas they're already known to live. So if you see a suspect brown marmorid stink bug not in the Fraser Valley, Metro Vancouver, Vancouver Island, the Okanagan, then report it. But we already know that those zones have lots of stink bugs. We don't need to report it. Despite their creepy name, they're harmless to you and your pet. This is a crop pest. It's not dangerous to your, to you or your pets or your homes. They don't feed on your they don't feed in your structures, they don't bite, they don't sting. It's not dangerous in any way. It's just a big insect, so it can be surprising if you see it on your wall or whatever. But it's not dangerous at all. So if you can't live with them, she suggests freezing them for a less messy option. Elena Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver.